Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I will talk about this uh, display link adapter, which is the USB 3.0, USB A port to the HDMI port here. And inside of this simple package, you also get this uh, adapter here, which is HDMI to DBI uh, connection here. In the, in, the, in the package, you also get some paperwork, but I will not talk about that right now. It's not that important. For me, the performance of this is important because I read that if you use this display link on the Novo Chromebook Duet using the USB-C hubs or USB-C to USB-A adapter, you can get uh, 60 frames, 60 hertz frames rate in the full HD resolution. And I want to try that out now. And as you guys can see from the title, it didn't work as expected. And that's why this will be, I will return this device and in the, I will talk about that right now, why I would do that. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So let me talk about the setup here. You need a USB-C hub here, which is possible to have a connectivity of the USB-A here, which should be also USB 3.0. Or you can also simply use such an adapter, USB-C to USB-A. I will use this hub here because you can also connect the monitor, like the mouse, and also you can power it using another like uh, adapter. So this would be really useful if you want to use uh, the the normal Chromebook to add as a desktop. So now I have connected here the HDMI port here to this display link, and now I will connect it here to SBA port here. Now we should see it on the big monitor. Also. So now I'm connected the, using the display link. Let's see the settings that we get here. In the settings in the monitor here, the 24 five inch monitor from the Dell that I have here, I have the full HD option. And I also can go to Quad HD here. You also support that also, because this display link also supports Quad HD. You can also get 4K if you want. And here you can all definitely go to 60 Hertz. You have also other options. Now I can also go to the Quad HD just to show you guys. And the settings, what you get, I have to first confirm that here. Now I can show it down there. Now you guys can see also we have a 60 hertz here. Why I do not recommend it? Because clearly you can see it's 60 hertz, it's full HD, also quad HD, 60 hertz almost, you can get it. The problem is, I don't know if it's real, this 60 hertz, or there is a performance issue here. I don't know if it's something related to this cable matters, but I don't think that should be the case because this has a certification from display link. For me, I don't feel like this is a 60 hertz. Yes, I think it is less than that. There's also some problem. It's really slow, actually. If I try to open that, you guys can see also from the animations, especially when I maximize this, you can clearly see that it's a little bit laggy. But I will showcase that with one game now, so you can clearly see what I'm talking about. I will show the game, the tennis game that I have here from Sega. Now the setup is connected using this display link, using the HDMI port, and I have the controller in my hand, which is connected also here using this USB-C hub. Now I will try to game with it, and you will see, I will compare it to the case that we don't have the display link, and you can judge by yourself. Now we have a full HD resolution here, the text looks sharp. You can also do Quad HD. The text then looks much sharper. But the problem for me is the refresh rate and how the performance is in general is. So now I will try to resume the game. Now you guys can clearly see how terrible this looks. And I don't feel like this is a 60 hertz. Is. I will try to a little bit play one more time. You can clearly see how bad this is. This is not playable. And this game is not that intensive as a graphic. So it's, some, it's not like Candy Crush, but it's also not like a high intensive as a graphic card game. So it should play much more so than this. Now what I will do, I will try to remove this display link and just use the 
USB-C hub and connect it directly to the HDMI port here and we will see how the game will look like then. I'm connected directly using the HDMI port. This is still in full HD resolution, but the, RAM, the refresh rate is now 24 Hertz. But I will showcase that this looks much better compared when you are playing the 60 Hertz and using the display link. That's so weird how it works now. Now there's advertisement. I have to skip that one second. I will try to do everything looks sharp. It's really perfect. But you can you can at least game here, with, even if it's 24 Hertz. In this game, you can do that. Obviously, if you have like more uh, intensive, like a GPU intensive games, you cannot use this 24 Hertz. But right now, in this game that I am, this works much better than connecting the display link port here, which gives like in the paper in the settings, it shows that it gives you 60 Hertz, but the performance is terrible. So you guys could clearly see that it doesn't offer the performance that it's supposed to offer. For me, it's terrible. It doesn't make sense. The, per the performance, even in 24 Hertz in the Full HD is much better using this setup or connecting the USB-C directly there, the cable. So I would return this definitely. I also tried this at work using this uh, DVI port here and it didn't work also there. So the problem is nothing related to the monitor or the port here. The problem may be in the cable matters, this is specific device here, but I think it's mainly depending on this uh, Lenovo Chromebook to it and it cannot output this uh, refresh rate and the CPU performance is not strong enough. So you have two options to use the HD resolution in the 60 Hertz or full HD resolution, which I have here 24 Hertz, or you can maybe hope that it will increase to 30 Hertz in your monitor, because I realize in my TV, I can go 30 Hertz in full HD in the monitor, but here I have 24 Hertz. So it will be something between 24 to 30 Hertz. So in this case, the text looks sharp. You can easily read the stuff and work here. It's a little bit laggy. You can see that from the animations, but the videos usually work nice here. And, but if you want to game, maybe then you can switch to the HD resolution and 60 Hertz, then you can game better, definitely. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stay away from this display link and hope to see you guys in the next one.